If I check my MAC address with the command IP space A and press enter, I can see under the interface E0, this is my MAC address. If I wait for 5 seconds and check my MAC address again, I can see my MAC address has completely changed. So in this video, we are going to be learning how to change MAC address on Kali Linux every few seconds. Let's get started. So I'm in my Kali Linux right now and the tool that we are going to be using to change our MAC address is called MAC Changer. Mac Changer is already by default installed on Kali Linux. You can check the help menu with the command Mac Changer space dash dash help and press enter and you will get the help menu. The first option that we are going to check is the dash s which will print the current Mac address. Before that, we need to know the name of our interface. If I give the command IP space a and press enter, I can see the name of my interface is it 0 If you are using a wireless interface, for you it will be WLAN0. So under the interface that you're using, you will get the MAC address. So copy the name of your interface. And if I check the MAC changer help menu again and try to print out the name of my interface, then I would have to type the command sudo MAC changer space dash s space the name of my interface and press enter. I can see my permanent original MAC address and my current MAC address is the same. So let's change it first to change the MAC address. I can use the dash a command which stands for another and it will set a random MAC address of the same kind. So I will type the command sudo MAC changer space dash a space the name of my interface which is it 0 and I can see my current MAC address has been changed to the new MAC address. I can confirm with the show command and I get confirmation that my current MAC address is different from my original MAC address. You can also confirm with the IP space a command and I can see my interface has the new MAC address. And if you want to change back your MAC address to the original hardware MAC, then you have to use the dash P command, which stands for permanent. So type the command sudo MAC changer space dash P and the name of your interface. And I can see my new MAC is the same as the permanent MAC. I can also check with the IP space A command and I get confirmation that my interface has the original MAC address. Other than this, you can use the dash R command, which will set fully random MAC address this is better for anonymity, dash r is the only option that I use. So to change your MAC address to fully random, you can use sudo MAC changer space dash r space the name of your interface and you will have fully random MAC address. Until now, we have learned how to change the MAC address only. If we want to change the MAC address every few seconds, we can automate the process. To do that, we need to build our own script. It is extremely simple, so follow along. I will first change to the desktop directory. Inside the desktop directory, I need to create a shell script. So I will type sudo space the name of my text editor. I will use nano space the name of my shell script. I will call it macchange.sh and press enter. In the first line, I will type hashtag the exclamatory sign forward slash bin forward slash bash. This tells the file that this is a bash script. I will press enter to move to the next line and create an infinite loop with the command while space true semicolon while true means that this script will keep on running until i stop it then i will give space do press enter to move to the next line and give a tab and tell it to do the command sudo mac changer space dash r space the name of our interface which is it zero so we are fully randomizing our mac address and move to the next line and tell the script how often do we want our mac address to change so type sleep space the number of seconds that you want your MAC address to change. If you wanted one minute, then you would type 60 here for 60 seconds. But since I want to change my MAC address every five seconds, that's why I'll type five. So what is happening right now is we are first randomizing the MAC address and then we are waiting five seconds with the sleep command. And since it is inside a while loop, it will forever keep on running and will keep on changing the MAC address every five seconds. Then end the script by moving to the next line and typing done and save the file with Ctrl plus O at the same time in your keyboard and press enter. Now the file is saved. Quit out of the file with Ctrl plus X and I can see macchange.sh is in my desktop directory. Next, we need to give executable permission to the file and we can do that with the command sudo space chmod space plus X space the name of the file which is macchange.sh and press enter. And now we can run the file with the command sudo space bash space the name of the file and I can see the file has started and after every 5 seconds I'm getting a new MAC address I can also check with the command 
IP space A and press enter. And as you can see, I'm getting a new MAC address. After five seconds, if I type IP space A again, I can confirm the new MAC address is completely different from the previous MAC address. And it will keep on changing until you decide to stop this file. You can stop this file with pressing Ctrl plus C at the same time in your keyboard. And now the script has stopped. If you want to revert back to your original MAC address, then type sudo macchanger space dash p space the name of your interface, which is it zero for me. And I'm back to my original settings. Now, few important note before I end the video. The tool macchanger is not effective over the internet. It is only effective over the local area network, meaning your home network or school network. Also, changing the MAC address that frequently might disrupt your network connection and your internet might be disconnected. So please be careful before running MacChanger or this script that I showed you. If your internet gets disconnected, then revert back to the original MAC address and your internet will be back. So that is for the end of the video. If you like this video and want to watch more content related to Kali Linux or ethical hacking, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.